Welcome back to VSPN. It's finally Friday and we have more news coming your way. So, let's get started. To start off, we just wanted to remind everyone that there is an anime and book club meeting today. So plan on, plan to come down during lunch this afternoon. You won't want to miss it. Co-ed cheerleading tryouts are getting closer. And this year, for anyone who's interested in seeing what being a VHS cheerleader is like, we are holding an open gym. The first open gym is Friday, April 23rd, after school from 4 to 5.30. Going to, the, um, going to these open gyms are not required to try out, but they're great for anyone who wants extra tips or just to see if they like it. The next open gym will be on Friday, May 7th. So if you can't make it to the, uh, this one, don't worry. Both open gyms are entirely free. Free. Yep. And here at VHS, so definitely consider going. In the spirit of celebrating Poetry Month, Miss Shoemaker is holding the annual Poetry Slam at the library on Thursday and Friday, the 29th and 30th. You may read a poem that you personally enjoy, one you have written, or even a quote. You'll sign up and there will be prizes given for the first through third. And remember, hey, sit down. Uh, and remember, space is limited, so be sure to enter. SAT testing day is taking place Tuesday, April 13th. That's for the juniors only, Mr. O'Dell. Okay. They, they can't well, see me. Oh, no. It means freshmen, sophomores, and seniors. Uh, you got a virtual day. Looks like you're learning from home again. Juniors, listen up. Report to your assigned testing classrooms at 8.30. Bring a number two pencil and a calculator. Lunch will be provided if requested. And testing should end by 1.45 p.m. Seniors, please take advantage of the many opportunities you have to earn scholarship money. Stop by the Career Center to pick up an application. If you are planning to attend NNU, LCSC, ISU, or the College of Idaho, please make sure you sign up for a meeting time with their representative admissions counselors in the Career Center Google Classroom. Stop by the Career Center if you have any questions or send an email to Mrs. Pedersen or Mr. Adamson. Hey guys, prom is coming up, so don't forget to get any guest forms turned in. Couples are $25 with an ASB and $30 without an ASB. Singles are $15 with ASB and $20 without ASB. You also wouldn't want to forget to purchase the tickets, especially since it is five extra dollars at the door. Mr. O'Dell, will you go to the prom with me? Absolutely. Yes! Now for the most important news of the day. Did you know that Valley View Video Production made a TikTok? Yep. The TikTok username is Valley View Video. You can follow them to see their content, which they will try to update regularly. Check out their first video. Fred, get your money, man. Like those so I'm hopeful. Yes, I am. Hopeful for today, take this music and use it, let it take you away, and be hopeful, hopeful, and he'll make a way, I know it ain't easy, but that's okay, cause we hopeful. Last night, our Boris Varsity Baseball team went head to head with Nampa High School. Woo! Unfortunately, our game our boys lost the game 7-8. It was close. Tonight they play a home game against Caldwell High School. If you, if you see them in the hall, be sure to give them a pat on the back and wish them good luck. All right, we, fin uh, we finally lacrosse, re Whoa. <laughs> uh, lacrosse results for you. This week on Monday, April 5th, our JV team lost a hard-fought battle against Meridian. I don't like Meridian, Mr. O'Dell. Uh, and with a final score of 0 2, uh, must be a misprint, looks like 9. Um, but, anyways, good luck to them, kids. The varsity lacrosse team had completely dominated Middleton with an 18 4 victory on Wednesday. Did they even show up? 
Are you <laughs> kidding me? April 7th. And that's all for lacrosse this week. Again? Uh, that's going to be all we have for school-related news. Like always, stick around to hear... Stick around to hear of some of the other important news that's going on. Literally, my only question is if their hair is... Where are you going? Oh, okay, cool. Um, I'll just... Nice. Do we have a weather background? Okay. Wow, well, you're dark. Uh, apparently, I'm I good. am running out of oxygen. <laughs> That was a, a science-related thing there. Yeah, sorry, we were <laughs> science-related. We are facing a medical problem out here in the studio. What's she saying back there? Just keep reading as if you can see the letter. Just keep reading as I've... All right, so I'm going to pull out my phone here real quick, guys, and we're going to look up the weather together. <laughs> Not that because you're incapable of doing so for some reason. Um, let's see here. Uh, it's currently 45 degrees, according to my phone here. Uh, let's see. Let's go 5 p.m. maybe. 5 p.m. around, it'll be 62 degrees here. Let's see 8. 8 might be 36 or so, something like that, and that's the weather. Hmm. Now on to some local news. First of all, Mr. Odell has found Artie the Aardvark, and we are all happy for that. That was kind of, we were all sad for a while. Uh, recently, 6AB, 8B Harrier aircraft from North Carolina have come to southern Idaho to help out with training simulations. This means it may be louder when the jets are running their training courses. Mm. Night flying will occur between April 19th to the 18th. Whoa. So there is no need for, uh, to worry if you hear loud noises coming over your house. Training will be done by April 28th. Were you aware that bullfrogs do not sleep? Whoa. I did not know that. Well, now you are. They only take rest throughout the, throughout the day. Scientists discovered that when they did an experiment where they delivered shock waves to frogs, shock, shock waves to frogs? Yeah, Froggies! <laughs> While they were both awake and when they appeared to be asleep, they shocked they shocked frogs while they were awake and appeared to be asleep. They expected the response to stimu the response to stimuli be slower at night, but they found that both responses from day and night were very similar. Wow. They concluded that frogs don't actually fully go to sleep unless they are in hibernation. Ah, we can imagine that any animals that have beef with bullfrogs have a hard time to catch these boys slipping. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like our, our human body. Yeah. They don't ever sleep either. Oh, too bad they can't hear you, Mr. Lupo. They never put their guard down. Sheesh. Interesting enough, my name is Odell. That's it for BSPN. Remember, juniors will be taking the SAT on Tuesday. So if you aren't a junior, you get a virtual day, not a free day. Have a great day, guys.